Honey. All right. Good morning to all. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Eucharist celebration on uh, Wednesday after the third Sunday of Easter. And the special intention for this Mass is for the repose of the soul of Lisette Valenzuela. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare our soul for the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have and those with the grace of faith, an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke down a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men bury Stephen and make a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now, those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus, Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing, for unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many pallets and crippled people was cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response of Psalm is <laughs> that all the earth cried out to God with joy. Cry out with joy. Cry out with, your, with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let oh, all the earth cry yeah, out to yeah, God with joy. Yeah. Let all the earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God. His tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He had changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they pass on food. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his mind forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall praise him on the last day, saith the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me. And I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, 
that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I um, uh, I remember when I was a little boy, anytime when I see all the, uh, all the, um, the adults came and received the Holy Communion, I'm always curious uh, about the taste of what they eat because I believe it should be so great so that people are so patient, get in line and come out and just receive something in their mouth. So uh, I, I try my best and do everything so that I can go and receive uh, the things in the church. So uh, when I grow up enough and I go to the whole program of the First Communion, I receive the First Communion. And then at that time, it's not only about the sense of the taste anymore, but it's something that I cannot describe. It's about the feeling about God. It's about the feeling of the sacrament. It's about the feelings of a blessing, a, an, an inside grace uh, that I just received uh, throughout the communion. So um, then when I grow growing up, um, I did not know why people can spend hours in the front of the adoration. Um, and, uh, but then, but then uh, when I came to the, uh, the, uh, the program of the confirmation, I have a chance to sit down and uh, experience the great moment that I don't even know how to describe by word throughout the time when I just spend with God in the adoration. And perhaps right now, we may not have a chance to receive the body of Christ uh, and um, attend our adoration face to face anymore. We don't have a chance to come and touch as we used to. But I believe that the spirit, the experience, the feeling, and the uh, the sp the spiritual connection is still there. If we know exactly what we yearn for, and if we look not only about a body of Christ outside, the, the, the outward sign, but the inward grace that we just received. Anytime we attend Mass and uh, receive the body of Christ spiritually, anytime when we nail down in the front of the, uh, the screen uh, throughout the adoration of the church. So this coming Friday uh, is the first Friday of, uh, of the month. And uh, St. Thomas More Parish will have the uh, adoration from 10 to 11. And I hope that uh, you can spend a little bit of time at that time, kneel down in the front of the adoration, kneel down and, and uh, put everything aside so that you can experience that feeling again. You can connect with God again, the feeling that nobody can describe by word. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruits of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruits of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let Christ in hands be the very greatest name, goodness, and holy church. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that we may always find delight in these Pascal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Live off your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down and renewed, an impurity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joys and relent every people as those in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angels' hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the sea who come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have households worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, a partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, Together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, Timothy, Titan, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your feast. And mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called as your eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter on my room, but only say the words of my soul shall be healed. Dear Jesus, come into my heart and be with me today. Let us pray. Hear, O oh Lord, our prayers, that this most holy chance by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning, all. Another good day. It's overcast right now, <clears throat> but it will be uh, nice about noontime. As Father Kit mentioned, on uh, fr Friday, we'll have the first Friday, but it'll also be the first, it'll be the um, May 1st, a chance to celebrate our Blessed Mother's uh, time. So it will be a, a special time, not only to uh, honor our Blessed Mother, but more importantly, we're going to have the Blessed Sacrament. We'll have to live stream it, but at least it's as close as we can get. So it's it's a good thing. And a couple ideas, you know, I know that it's a, it's a nuisance to have to stay home and uh, not be able to go out for, uh, say, a nice dinner, a luncheon somewhere. And uh, it's, it's a nuisance. But think about of people who don't have any food that uh, are struggling just for a meal. So when we th think about the nuisance, remember that there are real problems in the world. So we pray for those people and look forward to the day when we can go back for, get back to our regular life. So pray for the, the, the sick and the hungry. And uh, that when we think about that, it's not as bad. The things, things are, or could be much worse. And, will get much better. Right, let us continue with a prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael? The Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all, all the evil, evil spirits, spirits who prowl about the world, world seeking the roots of souls. souls. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Master, let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a pleasant day, everybody. <laughs>